Hello, in this video I want to give you some uh, guidance how to download the uh, data survey from the DDM. Uh, some video I already created for the alumni in the video tutorial number uh, I'm forget this is 27 and 28. The uh, new topic, uh, this one is a uh, Actually, uh, the guideline is same with that uh, already mentioned in the two video, but uh, there's a little bit uh, different because uh, the, the people asking to me is already get the data from the site, <laughs> and then they get data from the this one. Uh, to make sure, I already plotting in the Google Earth. First, when we got data, we can check. First check zone and projection location. This is very very important to make you not to miss orientation. To check just open the data and by the Google Earth you can see the location actually. If in Google Earth uh, the data is uh, not correct you can uh, the proceed for the next step after this one. So from this one I delete and go to the global mapper and open the data too. And we export it. Uh, this one. Okay. Then go to the projection. Configuration, projection. And this is the chain with the UTM. Go to WGS 84, the unit in meters. Okay, then uh, after this one, uh, you can first create boundary how to can get the data because uh, you need to the right on the left and right side. You can create manually in here, just like this one. Click for the end location and right click and then OK. One. Uh, this is to create the boundary, but uh, because for the sample, you can create a good one by the more precise, like this one. But it will take a time. You need to proceed uh, careful step by step. Uh, same with the center line location. Okay, this is the option step number one. But uh, in other hand, you can create by the civil 3D and the uh, export uh, vector or LIDAR and make sure this is in the XF okay then there is no something to need to change uh, make sure the cur current projection in UTM meter then okay I want to put this name with the DXF that then latihan projected number one Save. Okay, uh, it's already create one drawing. I go to the civil 3D and open the data. Uh, zoom extend. This is the data, the location. I just want to check the coordinate is okay or not. This is the coordinate when we change the mouse. You will see in here number two and number nine. Go to the Google Earth and we open the file check this one this is 2 and 9 I think this is a uh, go to the correct direction but we need to make sure first we can export to double cross check go to projection and uh, just click the setting tab go to the name of the file Go to the edit and this is make sure uh, drawing unit in meters and uh, the datum and projection chain with this one and go to the location 84 and south and ok then save first this is dvg is ok then go to the toolbox to make 
uh, check again in the Google Earth. This is still in the location or not? Okay. The name of the project. Okay. This one. The same with this one. the drawing oh sorry I don't see the drawing okay go to this one and go to the model it should be on the on that location okay if there is no drawing I can repeat again and go to the boundary this one like this to make everything is a better view and change the color and I save it go to export again yes okay this one so this and this one is uh, in uh, the correct location why I need uh, the file in civil 3D because when I create the boundary manually in the global mapper it's a uh, very little bit difficult because this is a uh, manually like this one so when I use the civil 3D I can the uh, offset uh, by 100 or 50 uh, as I want to create the damage this one 100 meters to the left to the right Okay, it means some location uh, get broken. So when I offset the location, it's not correct. It's no problem because this is uh, for guidance only. So I create this one like this until the end. Okay, on the white line, I already have the left side, and I go to the offset uh, to create the another side this is 100 I think uh, I use only 50 50 meter and 100 in the other side this one so I have a new boundary in here I delete the another line okay this is the boundary uh, in the left and the right side but some area because the left side I not uh, create the radio so I need to uh, change manually like this one okay this one too i hope everything in 50 meter on the left and the right side this is approximate on um, approximate only like this one this one too okay then i create the end of the line from this to this one go to the join by typing the G and then this is already create the uh, one line so I just closing by the polyline edit and then I type close for closing the boundary is already closing and then I save it <coughs> again I make sure everything running well so I create execute on the Google Earth again Go to the name of the project and go to the model will be automatically zoom in location okay this is uh, the data i want to get uh, from the global mapper <coughs> so the next step is uh, i want to create a dxf or dvg is okay uh, this one uh, only for backup uh, when i create in dxf uh, they will uh, they will delete the another object that uh, we don't need to uh, expose latihan project number one we just save in here and I close save again go to the global mapper and this is I want to unload and go to location that I already created a new name this one everything already on the location and then okay uh, so from this one I need to I don't need to create the boundary manually <clears throat> the next step after the check zona location in civil 3d Google Earth 
also in Google Earth. Go to number two is uh, create boundary. After we create boundary, go to the global mapper again. Connect with the map. We need to connect with the map by create this one. Go to terrain data and go to the SRTM is okay. Wait uh, some moment. This one. <clears throat> and then uh, we need to get this contour by check this one. By click this one, uh, cut selected area, uh, click on the line inside of the line. So this is the data we want to extract it and then go to this one file export this is the uh, same with the video tutorial i already gave it to you uh, uh, for now we are not a uh, raster image but uh, we can create by the elevation grid format <coughs> and then uh, go to the xyz grid then okay so from this boundary they want to create the grid uh, object in uh, around the location but uh, make sure the density of the location is uh, uh, good one or five meter because uh, when we take the data it's uh, too wide it will be not so precise this is the resolution by default is 38 so we, you can uh, manage uh, by couple uh, trial i just want to put uh, 10 meter by 10 meter for the for the first trial and then uh, space tab semicolon fix okay, by the comma it's okay then the resolution is 10 by 10 then go to the export mode make sure you need to crop because they will be selected only in the cropped area and then ok uh, just uh, type the data name of the data like this one ok wait a minute and go to the location go to the my document i just uh, already have the data topo open with open in civil 3d you can check this one and point create point go to xz, XZ. Uh, this one by the all file one take y z okay and is that just trial uh, if you're not sure you can choose which one uh, if the point not here it means you put the wrong location i want to try this one okay okay wait a moment go to the prospector or oh, still running this one it's already correct so when uh, you check the the object like this one go to point group properties it's already become the standard because uh, we don't use the template of the wgm like this one okay okay this is uh, the point already get uh, from the global mapper but uh, we need to some additional work uh, because this is the dense is to the dense is not so so high so we repeat with the another density go to the elevation grid format please find the x y and z grid and okay and i want to make a two meter every two meter and go to the expand boundary just make sure everything in crop and okay and i create with the another name of file save okay this is take uh, more time and then i need uh, another option export again export to 
Elevation grid format. Okay. I need one meter. Go to the export. Scrub. Okay. This is I want to delete the zero and I already have the three type of the point. Ten, two and one meter. Okay. This is more take time because the density is uh, bigger than before and this is already done and close this file and I want to save this one uh, save block twist projected number one in my document it's okay in here and then I go to my template drawing template first there is a drawing template so i need to copy this one copy to the cv 3 d because my cv 3 is new so i don't have any template open then let's make sure we don't want to work in the d uh, wt but in the dwg A data point with the drawing save this is still blank so I need to open insert blocks so I need to setting meter is okay uh, I work in here so I work in that location okay, there is still no drawing in here I want to copy the original one the zone is already Okay, then I open the another file in DWG. This one, I need uh, the drawing only. This and this one, go to here and paste to original coordinate. Go to zoom and extend. This is the location, so I delete this one. Then I import the point, create point by import it, or we can directly from here point import point import point go to the point which one we want to import to the drawing we have one we have two and we have ten uh, go to uh, number two first to make it uh, more lighter because uh, when we create the another uh, height density is the file capacity is uh, bigger okay Okay, I'm waiting. It's uh, around 20 minutes. Uh, as your information, I'm using the Dell Precision 100, uh, 1600 with the 16 uh, gigabyte of uh, random access memory and two hard drive with the uh, one for the SSD and one for the regular hard drive. This is the point already ported to the location. So the next step is uh, to create the surface. For the surface creation, you can uh, see another, another uh, video tutorial in the how to create uh, the surface. Okay, I want to save this file and uh, we can see in another video. Bye-bye.